All right, five days and counting now. That's how long Congress has to pass a new farm bill before they go on holiday vacation. If they don't, they'll certainly know about it. As News 3 reporter Dave Delosier tells us, no new farm bill will mean much higher grocery prices come January 1st. Yes, indeed, my children do consume a lot of everything. Which means a trip to the grocery store already puts a strain on the budget for a single mother of two boys. That strain may become a lot worse if Congress can't come to an agreement on a new farm bill. But unfortunately, if Congress fails to act by the end of the year, families and farmers in South Central Wisconsin could see the price of milk double starting in 2014. Dairy products are 35% of our budget. So doubling that, I don't know what's going to be what the give and take is necessarily going to be for the boys. You can say this is about the federal budget. You can say this is about the food stamp program. But at the end of the day, for a mom, this is about being able to afford to feed her kids. They're six and eight years old. They're, you know, they're growing like they're twice that age. And it's just, it's not, it's non-negotiable. They're going to have their food. A congressional conference committee is trying to hammer out a deal. They have until the end of Friday to get it done. At that point, Congress will go home for the holidays and there will be no farm bill. In a state like Wisconsin, uh, in South Central Wisconsin, where ag is so uh, strong, uh, it will have a lot of impact uh, that we will feel in this area. You don't need to tell that to Valerie and her two boys. They'll know it the first time they have to pay more than $7 for a gallon of milk. It's going to be tight, and it's going to be weighing on my shoulders. Now central to the battle between House Republicans and Democrats over the Farm Bill are cuts to the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. House Republicans are calling for a $38 billion in cuts to the program, while Democrats are trying to limit those cuts. Caught in the middle are farmers and consumers. And again, Michelle and Eric, uh, the clock is ticking, and Congress has just a few days to get this oh. done. They always do it, don't they? They wait until the very last minute. Hopefully, they get something done here. Yeah. Absolutely. Dave. A lot of people counting on it. Absolutely. Dave, thanks. Mm -hmm.